Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are going to set up Gazebo with Autopilot plugins, and then we are going to see how Orco marker detection technique works. And then we'll write a simple Python script using OpenCV libraries, Orco, and DroneKit APIs. And then we'll simulate that script into Gazebo environment and just check the behavior of the drone. And then we'll have a short demonstration of the same script on the actual vehicle over here. And we have a Pi camera attached to this drone so that we can uh, detect these Orco markers and just control the behavior of the drone using this. So let's get started. Okay, so now we'll move on uh, with the next step that is the second setup that is installing Gazebo and Autopilot plugins and you'll get uh, all the details uh, in this uh, documentation and apart from this we know that uh, Gazebo is a 3D simulator and if you are installing uh, Gazebo along with uh, ROS then it's okay or even you can uh, separately install Gazebo and then uh, install the Autopilot plugins and when you are installing only Gazebo you will get a particular environment that is a free space you won't be having any model or the environment in the surrounding and to get all the things set up you need plugins right now we are dealing with uh, autopilot plugins and if you are uh, or if you want to develop uh, the things like if you want to have your custom model and the custom environment then you can use the apis uh, provided here at the gazebo stream.org you can uh, check this website for more information Okay, so to install Autopilot directory, you can just refer this installation process. You have the step-by-step -step guide to this and you'll get the uh, link in the description to this documentation. So the first step is to git clone the directory here. And once you have done, uh, then you'll get the directory with the name Autopilot into the uh, home location. And uh, here it is. And here you have the directory. Now the next thing is get into the directory. And so once you are there, you need to run this uh, both the command. And once you are done with this, we'll install some Python dependencies. So if you have followed the previous uh, setup, then you won't be needing this because we have already done that. And if you haven't done, then you can just copy and paste it over here. And enter the password. And here it is. So I have already done. So all the conditions will be satisfied and you can even download map link or my proxy and after that we need to edit the dot bash rc file and that is we are going to source it and this means that uh, whenever you uh, start your computer the uh, autopilot folder will uh, start uh, start or it will be sourced there so just uh, paste it over here and you'll get the dot bash rc file or you can say the text editor and what you have to do is you can just uh, add these two lines and I have already added here so after adding these two lines you can just uh, save the file and then exit so the lines that I have added are this you can just paste these lines there and after doing that you can just reload it once or you can say uh, you can just refresh this using this command and if you want to test the installation process then you can just uh, run the simulator using this command so i won't be doing right now we'll move on to the next step that is installing gazebo to install gazebo first we need to uh, set our computer uh, so that it will be right to uh, accept the uh, packages from this particular source so you can just uh, copy this and paste it over here and you can run and after that you can just download all the packages from here and after downloading the packages or installing the packages you can just uh, update your uh, computer and once you are uh, done with this uh, we'll install gazebo so uh, for the SITL or the gazebo version that is compatible with the autopilot plugins or the SITL that is 7 to 9 and we are going to install gazebo 9 and the latest uh, version uh, as of now is like gazebo 11 and once you are done with the uh, installation of the gazebo actually this thing will uh, take a bit more time and to check whether the installation you have uh, done is uh, completed or it is okay then you can uh, run this command that is uh, gazebo verbose so i'll, I'll run this uh, thing here and after running this thing uh, we'll uh, get uh, 
a blank or you can say a free space and I'll, I'll show you how it is okay so here we have this uh, empty environment you can say so there's no vehicle okay oops I need to minimize this thing okay so here you can say that you've got a free space there's no model or any environment or you can say particular environment that you want and here you can uh, like uh, import some plugins or the models that I have already done here like uh, I have the average with stand standoffs and camera and everything so what will I'll do I'll just uh, exit this window and we'll move on uh, towards the plugin installation and uh, to install the plugins uh, we need to uh, git clone the uh, directory that is auto pilot gazebo directory and you can uh, run this command for that and after that you'll uh, get the uh, folder or the directory on your uh, home location like we have done for autopilot directory and here it is so this is the directory you'll get after uh, git cloning and once you are there with this you can just i'll just copy this thing copy and like cd space and i'll enter that and just follow this process here like uh, you need to create this uh, folder that is a uh, build folder and we'll see that uh, here we have the build folder and we'll get in that and once you are in there just uh, follow this uh, cmake command and then make hyphen j4 so j4 is uh, the total number of cores that you are uh, dedicating uh, to installation for this and after that you can uh, sudo make install and once you are done just uh, launch this or you can run this uh, before going for the actual uh, simulation uh, as i have already said that i'll be running three different python scripts first is to autonomously take off land second to make your drone move and third is uh, to make your drone hover to the particular altitude and it will detect the particular aruco marker and when it detects it will run the land command so uh, the third script that i'm going to run now and we have seen uh, both the scripts that first and second script in the earlier demonstration so i would like to show the uh, arco marker detection techniques here for that i'll run this script and here i have uh, two arco markers one with the uh, index id 58 and other with the index id uh, 53 and i'll uh, set this uh, index id 53 in the code so whenever the drone will uh, hover at the particular altitude it will uh, start uh, detecting the ids and when it get the specific id it will uh, run the land command and no matter how many other ids it detects it will uh, still uh, wait for the particular index id and uh, i'm using 4x4 four four, uh, a matrix size of uh, orco marker and for more details we'll see uh, in the uh, next videos so now let's uh, move towards the actual demonstration in order to start the simulation process we'll start by running the gazebo simulator and just for that we need to copy this command and we'll paste it here and when you hit enter you'll see the uh, window of the gazebo uh, and it will start to launch and here we go here we have the uh, gazebo uh, simulator and here you can see the uh, irish model here and as we are using autopilot plugins uh, the uh, plugins are completely based on this uh, autopilot uh, sorry i can say irish model with the gimbal here and with the standoffs and and if you are developing your custom uh, model then you can design according to your requirement and it so uh, just for the moment i'll just minimize this window and the next thing that uh, we need to do is uh, launch sitl and in order to launch sitl i'll just uh, hit the shift ctrl t and add one more terminal and to launch sitl just copy this command and paste it here and when you hit enter you'll uh, see that it it is running and the first thing that you'll see is you'll uh, get the console and you'll get one window uh, the SITL window you can say that and I'll show you uh, when it launches 
and now I'll close this documentation and this is the SITL window that uh, already we have seen in the first setup and uh, this is the console you can say console is like where you'll get to see all the flight data and here you can see that what all data you are getting and I'll just minimize this SITL window and now we'll uh, start with the simulation and here we have the gazebo and this is the runway or you can say that the, the environment is runway you can design according to your requirements like you can have the uh, gas stations the ambulance and all this kind of things in your plugins and uh, we'll uh, do some uh, quick test likes if you want to uh, see what all modes you have then you just need to enter here mode and you'll see all the available modes like uh, stabilized land loiter rtl drift flip autotune and all the other modes we can say here and uh, the mode that we are going to work with is guided mode because whenever you are applying for some autonomous mission your drone should be or your copter should be always in the guided mode or without the guided mode uh, it won't take off and for guided mode you need uh, the gps 3d fix and now uh, i'll change the mode to guided and for that I'll hit enter and you can see that the command acknowledgement message you'll get here on the console and when it accepts you can see that uh, mode guided is being changed and when I hit enter in the terminal I can see the change there okay so here we are into the guided mode and now uh, I'll show you one thing like uh, if I'm trying to take off like uh, arm throttle and I'll enter and you can say that uh, or you can see here that component arm this arm uh, we are getting the message that is failed so we need a uh, 3d fix and we need 3d fix in the guided mode so we need to uh, wait uh, till we get the gps and here we can see that we have got the message that ekf2 IMU uh, 0 is using GPS and similarly IMU 2 is using GPS that means that we are ready to take off in guided mode and you need to wait just uh, till you get these messages or if you won't be able to take off and now we'll uh, do some quick test like uh, we'll arm the throttle and then we'll just take off to 1 meter and then we'll land it okay so for that we'll uh, run this arm throttle command and hit enter and then you can see in the console that component arm uh, disarm that is accepted and next thing is i'll uh, set the altitude that is take off to one that is one meter and then nav take off that is the navigation command has been accepted and if you are getting navigation uh, command uh, or the navi navigation takeoff field in the first setup or uh, in the SITL with the ground control session then that's the problem with the Mavlink okay so now you can uh, see that uh, the model or the copter has uh, started to take off and it will hover uh, at the one meter and now I'll run the land command or I need to change the mode that is mode land and hit enter and now you can see that it will uh, start to descend and it will land so uh, this is the quick check you can uh, do in order to check if your uh, system is ready to run the further uh, python scripts and once uh, it lands we'll uh, run the third python script that is uh, to detect the orco marker and then run the land command okay so i'll add one more terminal here and and here we are and i'll run the uh, python script and the python script is like py python or colline.py and i'll hit enter and i'll not specify here the uh, what you can say the connection string because it is already specified in the python script and you'll get all these python uh, scripts 
uh, in my git link and here you can uh, see that it has taken off and here i have the orco markers with the index id 53 and other with the index id 58 and i have uh, set uh, the index id uh, 53 in the code and you can see that a drone will uh, get to the height of 2 meters and the takeoff altitude now you can see that uh, the webcam the light of near the webcam has started means that the camera has uh, uh, means the camera is activated and will try with the uh, orco marker with the index id 58 and you can see that uh, nothing is changing but now as soon as I'll, I'll check or I'll take this Orco marker with the index ID 53 and then you can see that the uh, command has been uh, uh, or you can say that accepted that is a land command and you can see the copter is slowly descending so this process is very quick the detection is very quick okay so uh, you'll see that it will land and then automatically automatically it will disarm okay so now we'll have some actual uh, demonstrations on the bigger drone and here i have the orco markers with the index id 58 and 53 so we'll run the python strip from the uh, computer and the computer is connected over ssh and when we'll run the strip it will go to the height of about like 8 to 10 meters and then it will hover there till it detects this particular index id or the orco marker with index id 53 and till it detects uh, this orco marker it will just hover there and if something goes wrong then uh, you have the transmitter to uh, take over your drone and i'll hit enter and it will start to execute it will set up the connection with the vehicle and execute the strip and here we have the orco markers and if something goes wrong then we'll have this transmitter to take the manual uh, gain now it will just uh, start to connect So this is the simplest demonstration that you have seen now the height was like only 5 meters just for demonstration purpose the height was less and if you are using bigger orco markers like 50 by 50 centimeters then you you are able or the drone is able to detect it over the height of like 20 to 25 meters and in the next videos we can uh, implement a few more algorithms or write more python scripts and uh, build cool applications like we are going to see a uh, drone delivery or the package delivery using the precision landing technique so it, it is uh, possible to uh, land on these orco markers using uh, computer vision and uh, just check the links in the description you will find drone dojo courses they are uh, great courses with proper and detailed explanation over every point and every module and you can just get 10% discount on every courses using the coupon code you can just check uh, the link uh, to all the three courses in the description and we'll meet in the next video